Hello, welcome back again. My name is Mr. Charles Winnike, and in today's video, we will be discussing the difference between healthy and unhealthy love or relationship and the solution. So it's very important for us to understand how or the reason behind our problem. Because if you don't know the cause of the problem, you can never find the solution. And that is the reason why anytime we go to visit maybe a medical doctor or a physician, a physician, there are procedures in which they would like to find out the, what is the problem. It could be by test or by any other method from that they will, they will know the actual drugs that they will give to us. So that is the reason why I have to make this video and I also make it healthy and un unhealthy and the solution. So in that case, I will also want to remind you that in every good and bad, it has root. And that is, that is the most important thing I want you to put at the back of your mind. Let's just go to simple, uh, straight to the definition of healthy and unhealthy. From my own understanding, healthy relationship or healthy love, it has to involve what I call the state of equilibrium. What do I mean by state of equilibrium? It simply means when the right hand is 100, the left hand is also 100. That is simple definition of my own healthy love or relationship. So in times of unhealthy love, it is also when the left hand is 100, while the, while the, uh, the right hand is 30, that is unhealthy love. That is to show you that, um, um, that, that, that it is not balanced. That is what I call unhealthy love. In the other word, I also I use used to call it improper fraction and proper fraction. And I also want to make each and every one of us to understand that the way God made man and the way God uh, create man and woman, they are all different. Women are they are triggered by what they hear from men. Why men are triggered by what they see from women? So these are the two different entities entirely. And I will also make a video concerning the difference between man and woman. The difference between man and woman does not mean that man is better or woman is better. They are all different is different. There is no one is better. There is no one is that is uh, inferior. So in that case, let's go straight to the healthy love aspect of it. There are four points that I have already figured out that what I understand the basis of the healthy love and the basis of the healthy love is the same thing apply to the basis of the unhealthy love. The number one of the healthy love, which I, which I, ju I just want to let you know is open communication, open communication between men and women. I really want to um, go straight to the main aspect of it. Most of the men don't know that the way women are created and the way men are created that are different. Women like men to listen to them, listen to them and give them good judgment. And women know when they are wrong and they will also express it by themselves. So in that case, men mostly should give their wives, their fiancé or their fiancé attention when they, when they bring complaint to them. And they should also find the best way to resolve the issue. Not the other way around to shout out the woman nag at her complaining and so on and so forth there are, there are many ways you treat a woman the woman will know that what you confess what you say that you love her is truly you love her even if she's at mistake there is a man you treat that mistake with respect you treat her in a way that she will know that yes this man truly is behaving or is acting according to what he said to her that is Communication in relationship is very important. That is the most important thing in life. If if the communication is wrong, definitely that is the basic foundation of it. And how will, where does this communication come from? It came from the parental upbringing, from the both side. Because for any woman or man to have such communication, they have learned it from their parental home. They learned it from where they were brought up or from where they uh, from where they trained them because parental upbringing also affects 
people's idea, people's philosophy, people's um, belief system and conviction. If their conviction is wrong, the person, the person entire system is also wrong. So these are the basis of unhealthy uh, of healthy love because healthy love have to go with good communication and also the second the second aspect of it it has to go with mutual respect mutual respect have to be there at all time irrespective of what happened because that respect it shows that what you said to both parties are what you are portrayed are what you are communicating are what you are giving it is not what you said i am um, in the morning and then in the evening when issues come you will no longer content on what you say you will be saying different in order you will no longer have respect because that mutual respect is very important women both men and women need that particular mutual respect it's, it is not just only one-sided it is the two and the background of it it came from the parental upbringing where the two parties were brought up it's very important and the third one is kindness kindness is another thing because in any love or in any relationship there must be kindness kindness in terms of to tolerate person in terms of understanding because in all if you don't have kindness in your heart in your spirit soul and body Definitely, I don't think that you what you what you confess before the person that you say you love is there is any love there. So you we should also know that kindness is one of the attributes, is one of the function, is one of the tools of what you are mentioning in terms of in terms of healthy love. Another one here is patient. Patient is the basic foundation. Even if you watch, if you look at everything in life, things doesn't just go grow immediately. It is a gradual process. Even when they give back to a child, a child doesn't just come out from her mother womb or belly and started working. It takes time for things to grow. So patient is the mother and the father of what I just mentioned. In life, if you don't have patient, I don't think that there is anywhere in the world called healthy love or healthy relationship. Patient is the mother and father of what I just mentioned, communication, mutual respect and kindness because patient gives back to each and every one of them. It is only patient that can give you exactly this is how you need to have patience with this person. You need to do this, you need to do that. So those are the most important things. Then if we are to discuss or talk about the unhealthy love just as i just mentioned it previously or initially the basic background or foundation of the unhealthy love is the parental upbringing if the parental upbringing is poor it simply means the person we have unhealthy love for instance if you came out or if you were brought up from a home where daddy and mommy always quarrel for something that they are not supposed to quarrel they fight they beat the mm -hmm. They fight each other mother fight their husband husband beat their wife up and every second every minute you you see them quarreling for nothing how do you think or what do you think that that those children before their presence seeing their parents fighting and quarreling each other can they make any good thing no it only takes grace of god for that children for them to be transformed automatically so these are the basis of unhealthy law and these are the and these are the thing that that makes the man or the woman we see a man as nothing or the woman the man will also see a woman as nothing is because based on where and how they were trained and i also want to i also want you to remember that for a man and woman to be in love or to be in relationship they should remember that they all came out from different environment the environment that i'm talking about is this culture and belief system, confession, philosophy, and so on and so forth. The other side, the same thing. Even if both of you are maybe you are, both of you are in the same religion, the same country, the same community, that does not mean that both of you will go along, because there are different ideology and different vision that both both of the two parties and the two community uh, 
and the two family house the way they brought you up is not the way the other person is brought up so it takes time so these are the basics of of unhealthy love and i would like to mention um five or six aspects of it and i would like to start with the number one is poor communication poor communication it involves for the two parties not to listen to each other listening to each other does not mean that the person doesn't give that the other person attention for him to talk or speak it simply means that when the other person is 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 explaining his or herself the other person will not understand him or her you will see there will be an interrogation by the time you know fight will boss out and you see two hefty people are like fighting each other in the presence of their family or in the presence of their children and so on and so forth so it takes communication for it to work for things to work it takes patience for the two people to understand each other so poor communication is one of the most important thing that causes problem in any love or in any relationship the second one is isolation isolation is one of them isolation is if for instance any slightly misunderstanding any slightly misunderstanding this the man and woman they will go their separate way nobody will like to communicate with each other for a very long time it only takes grace of god for for them to come back and communicate uh, and communicate with each other and that is very wrong but in times of healthy relationship or healthy love that there, there is tendency that there must be an issue, but they know how to resolve it and they know how to come together to cover it up, to make sure that there is nothing like isolation, nothing like poor communication and so and so forth. But in terms of unhealthy love, this person will go his or her own way. This one will say, I don't care, I don't, I don't mind what you said with their communicate with their with their speaking or communication, they will that we coerce them to go their separate way for some time. So it's very important. Isolation is one of the unhealthy love. The third one is jealousy, extremely jealousy. Some of them does not want their husband or their wife to see them standing with another person. For instance, a man doesn't want to, to see his wife standing with another man communicating or discussing, shouting, and laughing at the same time the man will feel jealous the same thing apply to women i know that in life it you only jealous for whom you love but sometimes it it is not all about love in some cases it's just all about stupidity don't misunderstand me sometimes it's just all about just to wicked the person but if it is love you should also know that that you have to understand that it is not only you that we communicate with your wife or with your husband other people have to communicate with her you should also put that trust her but in terms of unhealthy love that jealousy is there and anytime the person come by will say why were you shouting with him or her communicating and both of you we are laughing hugging each other what is it and by the time the other person would like to express or um, um express his or herself there will be no room for that by the time you know problem will come out of it will just bust out so the the fourth one here is, should I say, vi um, violation as in, in terms of um, to validate, but um, to validate the main violence. There are men that like beating their wife mercilessly. And, you, and we all know that women are not supposed to be beaten because women were, according to the scripture, they were created from men. So if you are beating your wife every now and then, it simply means from my own understanding, you don't love that person. Even if you have a temper issue, even if you have, I don't know how to put it, whatever thing that may, may lead you to beat your wife, it means you are not supposed to, you are not qualified to be a married man. And secondly, we all know that women talk so much. And any woman that always insults her husband, she should learn how to content with her because it depends on what you say to your man, to your husband, or to your whatsoever that will coerce him or her to beat you. But in between both sides, that is where in times of unhealthy, in times of healthy love, all these things came out. But patience, good communication, respect, and kindness 
over those things. At the end of the day, you see these two parties putting those things aside and making sure that things are moving well. But in terms of this unhealthy violation, fighting, beating their wives, because I know that every, any responsible man can never beat his or her wife. He, you can never beat your wife. Irrespective of what she said or what he, he uh, or what she does to you, you don't, uh, you are not supposed to beat your wife. So those are the things that causes unhealthy relationship. And uh, the fifth one is belittling, as in to belittle somebody, as in to disrespect. Let me put it like that: to disrespect your husband or to disrespect your wife, not just in front of your children, not just in front of what in the in front of the public, talking to her anyhow. I know that nobody is perfect. Nobody will say that he is he or she is good at 100%, but whatever thing that may be the case, you should not belittle or disrespect your husband or your wife in respective of what he or she does. But I know that there are a lot of things that somebody will do to you. You don't care where he or she finds the person, but as a human being, you, you need to control your temper. You need to control yourself and make sure that let such things should not make you to disrespect because as you're disrespecting the other person you're also disrespecting yourself because people around you will also be looking at you is that how this person behave so those are the things that which that that involved in what we call a, an unhealthy love and uh, the last and not the least it is the intensity intensity which i am if i should talk about this intensity is then there, there are a lot of things that we handle in a way that is not supposed to be handled which is very very bad we handle things so rough we handle things information details that we find out instead of to calm down to put things in order instead of to make sure that this thing, the anger and whatsoever thing will not will not cause us of anything because there are there are some certain things you might have or hear that this is what your husband or your wife do or your fiance or your fiance did or one thing or the other you should be able to make sure that you are you are a man or you are a human being you should try to hold your temper because this intensity is one of them is very 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 bad for every human being to be so intense to be so intense in everything he or she had every piece of information every mistake from the both side you will be, the person will be so intense you'll be so serious you, you will be you feel i don't that in fact you and uh, within your mind or within your uh have me you have the power you will have even destroyed the person's life and which is very very bad but i also want you to understand that from all these things, the basic foundation of it, both unhealthy and healthy relationship or healthy love, they all came out from our parental upbringing, where we were brought up, the environment in which we were brought up matters. And the only way that we can remedy this situation is by grace of God, is by making sure that we should learn how to adjust, learn how to amend, and learn how to make sure that we learn the right thing. Even if we had bad, bad, uh, bad training from our parents because is that training, does it work to stay with our wives, to stay with our husband? Because if you know that you really love your wife, if you know that you really love your husband, what, what you need to do is to make sure that you have readjust so that both of you will stay in peace. Well, remember what I just said that I will, our time goes on, I will also make a video on the difference between man and woman. Difference does not mean that this one is better or this one is inferior. Difference is different, different purpose and different function. So these are the things I have for you in terms of when we are to differentiate healthy and unhealthy love or relationship. Thank you once again. See you next week.